Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> Bear with me, this is the first time I've done one of these streams on the new desktop app, so uh, bear with me. Seems to be working okay so far. <clears throat> so the early just closed this door, hang on a second. <clears throat> Okay. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay. How's everybody in today? It's Friday. <laughs> yes, this script has been months and months and months in the making because uh, there's certain restrictions with TradingView, but we've got through there and they've brought some more updates out, which has allowed us to get this auto harmonic pattern um, for for TradingView, which is spectacular, really. It's just uh just so excited about it um uh, even today i've been talking to the developer um of something else which actually really helps us get in to trades with this and the expert algo so it's just um exciting times for me definitely hey warn effects warn effects whatever that uh, there's some strange names out there isn't they with these uh, usernames <clears throat> Where are you guys from? Where in the world are you from? Come on, shout out. Who's the furthest away from me? I'm in, I'm in the south of Spain, and it's raining today really bad. Okay, so we are, we're still a few minutes early yet, so I'm not going to start just yet, um, because we're supposed to start at half past the hour. Um, so please guys, just let me know where you're from. I'm, I'm from the UK, but I, um, I, I live in the south of Spain now. Um, do visit the US quite a bit, when there's no COVID. Be interesting if anybody else is from the UK in this uh, live streaming. Canada, love it. Lived in Medicine Hat in Alberta for two years. Savannah, lovely. Too cold in the winter though for me. Okay, US. Anybody from the UK? All oh, right, okay. All oh, right, well, a lot of uh, some of my I was I served in the military in the British Army, and that I was posted to Medicine Hat for two years. I lived in uh, well, that was that's in Suffield, but I lived in Medicine Hat, and quite a few of the guys I served with actually stayed, and, and they live in Canada now. But one of the guys I served with, his son is in the Canadian military now. Small world, isn't it? Absolutely small world. <clears throat> I love my time there. It was obviously very cold in the winter, but in the summer, playing golf, everything. Stafford, okay. Red Deer, yeah. Yeah, lots of Brits, yeah. Because everybody's so nice. I go to Montreal every year, unless there's a pandemic, uh, to, to watch the Grand Prix. Uh, and My wife and I love going to Canada. I really do. Okay, so we, we've still got five minutes to go. Um, today really is to concentrate on this new script that we've developed. And it's not been easy. 
uh, we we all you know we have it already for for a lot of other platforms but trading view it's been quite difficult so i want to talk about how it works uh, show you lots of examples uh, and, <clears throat> and how i uh, use it to trade uh, and also um, some of the some of the restrictions with with trading view um, because the more drawings you've got on a specific indicator the less you can look back uh, so some of the things we're going to be talking about is actually taking some of these target zones off, for example, uh, and reducing the amount of drawing so you can look further back. But to be honest, we're looking forward. We're not looking back. Um, but that's one of those things um, with TradingView. But it is really, really cool. Um, so we are going to get started very soon because uh, in 45 minutes, my wife is going to order the takeaway. <laughs> it's Friday night, it's curry night, so we want to get moving. Um, so, again, uh, hands up or let me know if you use harmonics at all at the moment. Obviously, if you do, you're probably drawing them yourself. <clears throat> uh, and to be honest, most of the, the most of the people that use harmonics are Forex. Uh, and futures, that sort of thing, a 24 hour type product because you get the smooth transition uh, and those patterns occur uh, more. Um, you know, they do work in stocks, uh, but you just have to be spot on. Um, so we are going to get going. So let's go. So um, I'm going to use some examples first. So there's, there's two ways of using harmonics. Uh, use them on a higher time frame to then get the direction of the trade on lower time frames and use other strategies to get in. Or in fact, you can use this uh, with other indicators to actually get in on these trades. So first of all, I want to show you around a little bit. So this is a GBP US dollar. This is two examples where the, the software automatically identifies this. This one first is butterfly and the next one is a bat pattern. So that's the first thing. You'll see the butterfly and the ABCD and the lines are all colored in green because the resulting trade is going to be long. OK, it, that's the clue to begin with. Then this bat pattern that forms, everything is uh, colored in red. So the resulting trade is going to be short. OK, so that's one of the first things. One of the most important things here is um, the pattern completion zone. So this is worked out by the algorithm automatically. And you, you, as you know, and I'm not going to go into all of the technical things to measure whether it's a butterfly, it's a gartley, a crab, a deep crab. This is all very complicated stuff and you don't need it. This does it for you. But it all works out on fib levels, overlaps, that sort of thing. What we do is we took, look for the high probability completion zones for a specific pattern. So in this case, it's a butterfly pattern. And we say if it completes in this zone, it completes right at the top. You see the, the hashed line there um, actually goes into the bottom of that zone. But it, this prints before that. OK. And if it completes in that completion zone, there's a high probability of the resulting bullish trade uh, working. OK, the next thing we look at are uh, target levels and these are FIB levels and these are totally adjustable. So right now I've got three, eight, six, six, one, eight, the hundred, one, two, seven, one, six, eight. OK, these are ones I like to use, but you can go in on TradingView and you can change those. OK, so one of the things we can look at is we want to we want a 50 FIB there, for example. We don't want a six, one, eight. Actually, we want the one in there. Uh, we perhaps want to put in a 262, for example, for a parabolic move that moves a long way. So we can change all of those. Click OK. And if we just look up high a little bit, there's the 262. OK, so we've got the 50 fib here, the 100, the 127, 1618. So they're all totally adjustable. Uh, they come standard with, with what I just showed you there. And as you can see, this resulting trade did go up towards that 262, didn't quite make it. It did in the event. I mean, look, this is what we talk about, this freaky maths of, um, of, of FIBS. Look where the, the peak was before that back pattern started to form, the 262 FIB extension from this completion zone. Now, this is no coincidence, guys. This is really freaky stuff. So that's the butterfly long pattern. Now, 
we'll just go again into this short here where it automatically you recognize it's going to be a back pattern and then automatically gave you that completion zone it completed in that zone you see the deep of it and then you're looking for resulting short trades and there's the it hit the one this the one 161 and bounce back up again so this is you know those target low uh, levels can be quite good so if we move further forward with this we see here we have a crab another crab pattern you know they complete outside of the zone so we wouldn't trade those we need to be very disciplined some of them worked out okay um but they you know this one went sideways afterwards okay it's friday so the the what we're looking for is the really good looking trades here now this is the hourly so let's go back to where we would enter there what sort of things we would use to to help us enter there so one thing that I would look at is look at the price action first, look at uh, the rejection at that D pivot, that looks good. So one potential entry strategy here would be just to go above the high of this candle that formed that pivot. It's an aggressive entry, but hey, sometimes you've got to be aggressive to reduce that risk. Okay, so that's where your entry would be here. Now, some people say don't go long until that C pivot, but actually you can trade all the way up to that C pivot and make, and make money. So you've got to be looking at um, using simple price action where uh, this 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 candle here makes forms the D pivot and really has you know has a good high here. We've got a bit of a pullback, probably a three eight two pullback there, and then you'd go long on this point here. Okay, now. I also use we on uh, globaltradingsoftware.com. I developed an EMA cloud, which helps for um, sort of entries, trading stops, that sort of thing, and it's totally adjustable. So you can go really conservative or aggressive on entries. So, for example, ten EMA a cloud would be really aggressive, and that's where you would entry be just breaking out of the cloud there. Uh, if you was managing this sort of trade. You would probably go to something like a 21 or even a 34 EMA to to manage that trade. But again, on harmonics, really, I'm looking for uh, aggressive entries, and something that can really help you with that is a 10 or a 13 EMA cloud. Uh, so this butterfly pattern completes in the automated completion zone. Uh, we then move out of that cloud and that's our long entry. Our stop loss is below the deep of it here. And as you can see, it does meander on up and eventually all the way up to there, okay? And then let's look at the entry for the short. Again, looking at price action here, we've got a candlestick pattern after that deep of it uh, forms, okay? We have a bearish engulfing right here. We have continuation, a lower low, a lower high, and it breaks through our cloud that would be the entry or aggressively you would go short below the low of this uh, engulfing cloud so there's nothing very special about these entries when these harmonic patterns complete in these auto completion zones uh, they're a high probability move you just need to get the entry strategy reasonably simple do you want to be aggressive do you want to be more conservative i'm british a lot of the time i like to be more conservative uh, so the short for me would have been breaking out of the cloud. It came back up to test the top of the cloud and then just kept going down. You see how, the, how really efficient this cloud is to help you measure that. And then eventually, uh, you know, we, we break out through the cloud. Um, so that's an hourly time frame. Now, we can go down to much lower time frames uh, to, to trade this. Uh, let's go and have a look. In fact, what I want to do first is I want to go to ZB. Now, not a lot of people trade this, but I'm going to put that on a four hourly because on a four hour, this thing is hot. OK. So this is a Gartley pattern on the four hourly with bonds. Now, obviously, you're not going to trade it off this time frame because it's $32.50 per ticket. It's, it's, it's a big boy trade. Okay, but you would look for short trades on smaller time frames. But 
for me to understand and look for an overall direction, obviously you're going to be looking at linear support and resistance zones, but this non-linear support and resistance zone, in this case resistance, is this harmonic pattern completing just inside this zone here. So if I just go a little bit bigger, this Gartley pattern finishes just inside this automated completion zone. And then on that's on the four hourly. So when you look at this and this completes, you are looking for short trades, but you're looking at short trades on smaller time frames. And, you know, you may go down to the five minute, the 15 minute and that sort of thing. But overall, this is another use for those harmonic patterns in that we can say on this four hour time frame that's completed. We're looking for short trades. Yes, it comes back up and tests this zone again. These are few levels, uh, but eventually this thing's come down all the way. I mean, this is a monster trade uh, for longer term bond type traders. But again, when this finishes, you're looking on shorter time frames. So let's go to uh, oil, for example. We'll go to shorter time. Let's try the 15 minute, for example, now. So again, one of the things we can do is we get overlaps of these harmonic patterns, okay? And you get overlaps of these target zones. So what we can do is get rid of the noise a little bit. And again, that's very easy. We go into show targets, no show target labels no switches all of those off keeps it simple yeah so here we got this uh this red butterfly pattern didn't complete in this auto completion zone for the sh resulting short as you can see it's just continued to go long okay let's look back a little bit more in time i want to show you some case studies here so we have a deep crap OK, we have a deep crab formed here just inside that completion zone. This is on the 15 minute for oil. This is really good looking trade here. Uh, you know, we got some consolidation there. We've got this big rejection here, you know, entry above this one, above this start pivot here. Again, look left. Look at this, this start pivot here. OK. The candle that completes the pattern is this candle. How long should be just above there? OK, it's just sensible. Look at pivots, look at price action. There's no way to do it. You know, we look at an EMA cloud. We put the 34 EMA on. It's too conservative for me. I want to go something like a 10 or a 13. There we go. So the 13 EMA gets us in a little bit more aggressive coming through the cloud there, but eventually this oil trade does pretty well, okay? Pretty well. It's pretty, I mean, sideways, but these are, you know, when you're managing these trades, you can go to a 34 EMA cloud, for example, and manage those trades as and when you want to do. So what we're looking for here on, on this trade is a break or a close below these clouds. I mean, you can even go to 55. Uh, but the main thing is the, the, the pattern completed in the automated completion zone. OK, so this one did not. OK, this long butterfly did not. It did eventually go long and you'll see the expert algo pick up those trades that failed for a harmonic. So, you know, they it did go long, but it didn't complete. The harmonic trade was not there. This short trade for the crab, however, completed. It was a fat zone. Sometimes they are fat. It did complete. The short worked out very, very well. So I want to go back in time. Now, you can see here, not all of these are printing, just the completion zones. I'll tell you why that is. Because on an indicator with TradingView, you are only allow, depending on servers, around about 50 drawings per indicator. So these ones show up because I've taken those um, target zones off. Now, obviously, we're not going to trade these. We can see oil on the 15 minute does have some good trades. We're looking for the groove. So we've had a crab. We've had a deep crab. They both, you know, that short work, the long work. This didn't form in the uh, PCZ, the uh, pattern completion zone. We wouldn't have traded it. So when I look on this time frame, yeah, I can look a little bit, way, you know, way back and everything that completes works. So that's a good time frame for me. 
Um, and the majority of cases, these are high probability moves. We look at three minutes on oil now, okay? Obviously, the, the further down the time frame, you've got, they've got to be pretty much spot on. None of these complete on the three minutes, okay? They don't complete in the completion zone. So straight away, for me, back testing oil right now on the three minute time frame, the harmonics isn't working too well for me, okay? So let's go to a different time frame. We know the 15 minutes working quite well. Let's have a look at the five minute. I need to load it up, okay? So I'm gonna go to the indicators, gonna go to invite only, and I'm gonna put auto harmonics on there. It takes a little bit of time to work everything out, and there it's on, okay? So then we go to the five minute. Obviously, when we switch it on, all of the target zones come on as well. Okay. Um, so it's, you know, it's about being able to clear that up a little bit. Some people like these target zones because they use them as support and resistance as well. For me, I, you know, I manage trades uh, either aggressively or not. I don't really look at target zones. I look at for trading stops. So I take those off. OK, so it just cleans the chart up a little bit, but some people like them. So we've made those an option. OK, so five minute at this moment in time isn't working too well on the harmonics. They're not completing 15 minutes is so 15 minutes is our golden time frame. I'll tell you another time frame that's pretty good, usually 12 minutes, not necessarily on oil, but on on Forex. Um, OK, so we look at 12 minutes. Not a lot happening on 12 minutes on oil because it's really, 12 minutes is a, um, um, a 4x time frame, really. But let's look, let's look at a metal, copper, for example. I want to go back to a larger time frame first. Let's go back to the hourly. And then we're going to do something that I've never done before, actually, is actually try and do these on a really small time frame to see if we can find some that are forming. OK, so we'll do something like a 30 second or something and, and try and filter through. Uh, you can on TradingView, by the way, set up alerts for these uh, completion zones. So it will alert you uh, when uh, something happens on a specific time frame. OK, so this is copper. Let's go back to the four hours again to start with. Um, copper's had an amazing move just recently. Really, really amazing move. So these have all formed. Uh, some of them have not formed in the auto completion zone. The idea is is to make sure that they do. Okay, um, let's just get rid of these target zones. No, no. Okay. So we had this uh, deep of it just complete at the bottom of the target zone and the resulting short was good the back pattern for the long did not complete there was no long there uh, but then when we go down to smaller time frames the five minute for example uh, just this recent bat didn't complete we were you know didn't complete so the short really didn't work out and then we picked up some expert five and six star buys and in, uh, in there which were really good um, you know not a lot of these are completing right now it's Friday, you know, um, let's have a look at natural gas. There you go. Back pattern completes on natural gas entry through there. Look at that parabolic move on natural gas. I don't need to put target zones in there, guys. OK, we had this back pattern complete just inside the zone. We moved outside of the um, EMA cloud. 21 EMA, boom, okay, 12-minute chart. Uh, I tell you now, 12 minutes is pretty good, um, really, really good uh, time frame. But, again, we, we got confirmations a little late on the expert here. Um, but look at this. You know, this, this is how to combine as well. So we get a back pattern complete on natural gas. We go along with the harmonic pattern. We go sideways for a little bit. We have a sufficient pullback then to give us a six star buy on the expert algo and it goes for it again. Okay, 
let's have a look on a smaller time frame for natural gas and see what see if it works something like on the three minutes okay so yeah you know even scalping natural gas on the three minute here this didn't complete this long you wouldn't go long it's as simple as that the back pattern for the short completes in the zone you get a small short scalp it's a three minute time frame sometimes you get a runner sometimes you don't um you know and that's how it goes now some people may ask uh, does it make a difference whether you're trading it on high canashi like i am now or um on normal candlesticks and no it doesn't because although the averaging candle of a high canashi the bodies are there are different the pivots are usually you know, pretty much the same so that it works out exactly the same uh we're going to go to let's go to bitcoin okay um not a lot of uh, work on this just recently but bitcoin okay so on a short time frame some people a lot of people don't short and this thing's going long all the way at the moment isn't it bitcoin it's just phenomenal um you know we'd have to go up quite up some big time frames here to try and see what's going off um, but it doesn't matter which uh instrument you are using oh lord look at this back pattern complete here sorry crap in this completion zone completion zone with it's seventeen thousand five hundred and forty five dollars if you'd have taken that trade from the harmonic pattern at eighteen thousand dollars on bitcoin you would be now at forty one thousand dollars okay i'm not saying that's the sort of money you're going to win uh with these sort of trades but all i'm trying to show you is when these patterns complete in the automated completion zone there's a high probability of that moving so this butterfly pattern didn't complete in that uh, zone for the short it what the short was short-lived um okay the back pattern didn't complete but this crab pattern did okay right to the tick on the top of that zone and then it just went hell for leather it's all done automatically okay everything is done totally automatic for you it prints the abcd corrections uh it, it prints what type of um harmonic pattern it is and it prints the automated completion zone of the fib levels as well so everything is done for you i want to find an example so we're probably going to have to go uh, maybe to a forex on a really really small time frame to see if we've got something uh, complete we just have this on the one minute there look one minute gartley pattern completed on uh, the one minute on the gbp us dollar right in the completion zone there look back what did it do the last time crab pattern completed yeah in the automated completion zone long trade okay we didn't get a short signal because there was no pattern there okay now we've just got a gartley right now it's friday late at night forex markets are going to close but what i'm trying to show you is it automatically automatically does that let's go down to i don't know a 15 second or something i want to find one that's just forming uh, which is probably going to be very difficult um, just to show you what it what it does that's a five second chart everything's slowed down now uh, maybe es is uh, a little faster okay wow okay five second chart on es gartley pattern completes short okay <laughs> um, trying to find something that's completing now We are having a massive storm here in Spain at the moment. Okay, so this alter, alternate bat on the 30 second free as I've gone down to these very small time frames to try and show you uh, how it's, um, it's doing it. Basically, we've just completed this alternate bat uh, on the 30 second in there. We've printed that D wave. At the moment, there's no entry, okay? We need to figure out where our entry is going to be. Most likely coming out of here, I'm just, again, I'm going to put my uh, EMA cloud on. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. 21, let's go, let's make it 13 for aggressive entry. 
Okay. So in reality now, what I'm looking for is an entry just above there on ES. Okay, now that's changed because it's changing every 30 seconds. So my entry is going to be around about there, 3804.50, with my stop down just below the D pivot here. Okay, so obviously this would be on a larger time frame. What I'm trying to do is show you live, and hopefully we'll come across one that's actually still forming. And then, you know, what I, what I want to do is look at my risk to reward. So I'm going to use a FIB extension there. Okay. And, you know, I've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1 to that C pivot and about 1 to 1 1.6 to the A pivot there. So that's not a bad risk to reward. Uh, it doesn't matter that this is on the 30-second time frame right now. All I'm trying to show you is that this, it's identified this as an alternate bat pattern. It's completed in the auto-completion zone. I'm using another um, trading, uh, an add-on, uh, which is the EMA Cloud, which is also available on, on globaltradingsoftware.com, as my entry, okay? Uh, and then the stop loss, let's just change that to red for danger, okay, is going to be just below this deep pivot. So, you know, 3,800 is the stop, 3,840 is the uh, entry. So very tight stop and entry on this 30 seconds. So, you know, you, you're not risking a great deal here for this type of trade. And what you can do is you can actually, if you go on the alarm here, you can add a new alert and you can look for the harmonics. OK, and you can put um, when it, you know, you can alert the, 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 the completion zones, minimums and maximums of bears and bulls. Uh, you can alert it even when it hits the target zones, that sort of thing. Uh, so there's, there's plenty of uh, different alerts you can put on. Mainly is the the PRZ, the zones. Okay, when when they go through the max and the min, for example, it's either broken or it's completed in there and it comes back out again. So it's just you can set up those alerts to help you understand that. I want to try and find something that's forming right now. Um, Try and see which one's going to have maybe gold. Let me just have a look at gold. Okay, so I'm going to switch to gold. So let's go. Let's go up to the daily right now on gold. OK, these are my support and resistance zones on gold. Um, pretty sideways um, just recently. Um, big rejection today and interesting to see the volume on that rejection. The volume on there somewhere. I've got it put. Uh, that's a 50 percent retracement today. That's that's very interesting. Um, let's go down some time frames now. Four hours. Uh, let's go down to 15 minutes. I just want to see if there's one forming now to show us. Uh, because the, the thing is with this type of strategy, you have to wait and be patient. And it's just one tool in your toolbox, if you like. You see this bat pattern here on the one minute failed. That was the completion zone. It came down way below. So you wouldn't go for resulting long trade there because the probability is very, very low. I'm just trying to find one that's forming now and it's going to be an impossible task. Um, but you never know. Let's look on five seconds. And my, the idea for me is to try and find something that's forming and show you it live. One second. This will test it. There's no pattern there at the moment.
Hi from Morocco, not far from me, just a ferry ride away at Tangier. I'm just going to let this play out in the one second a little bit just to see if we can see one starting to form. And again, I wouldn't trade off a one second time frame anyway, but um, it's, I'm trying to see if there's a pattern starting to form here. It's quite uh, uh, so I can show you live. Let's give it a few more, uh, a minute or so, just to see what happens. Uh, never work with uh, with animals or live data on a one second. I'm just trying to see if it'll pick something up. If not, we'll just go for a few um, uh, forex pairs or something like that. It's Friday. Um, volatility can be quite low. Anybody trade off really small time frames? Obviously, one second is you know pretty much impossible. But uh, one minute is probably the the smallest. But I usually the smallest for me is usually about three minutes. Um, to be honest, my heart couldn't take a one second time frame. Pressing buy and sell and getting in and out that would be pretty horrendous, really. Well, that's just running a sec. I just want to check on my other computer just to see if there's something for me somewhere else. Not at the moment. I think we could be here for ages trying to find something to live on the one second time frame. We'll give it another minute, guys, because it'd be really cool if we can see one for me. Uh, if not, we'll just do a bit of a scroll through. Okay. The one second is not going to help us here, is it? Let's just leave that running for a second. Let me open another chart set. Go to... to this one i'm just going to let that run over to the side just in case one starts to form let's 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 do that and then i can uh this real the, the desktop version for trading view really impressed with it guys the only problem is it will slow your computer down if you leave too many instances open and now some of those instances i've got on this computer i've got six screens on this computer here you see behind me that's a big 49 inch monitor so that's got four charts on it and then there's another one here um, but if you leave too many open and they're they're, they're hidden or minimized it can uh, reduce your the the memory uh, that's available i mean sometimes it can really eat up a lot of memory um, so again i'm going to go with um, i'm going to add a forex pair here let's go to um, 
Euro GBP. Let's have a look at that. And then one of the simple things that you you know to add these once you you've got the script. Have I got it on here already? No. So let's just add it. Okay. Let it do its thing. Okay, so Euro GBP on the three minute. Let me take the target zones off for now. Again, the, the smaller time frame you get on, you get more instances of, of harmonic patterns trying to form. These failed. Okay, so I just want to get, just take these target zones off for now. You can just take the labels off, for example. So if I just take the labels off, I still left with the zones. Okay, uh, the, the, you know, there's, there's options there. So let's just take the zones off as well for a second. OK. So one of the things, again, that we want to talk about here is the, um, the importance of the harmonic pattern completing in our projected completion zone. So this is Euro GBP on the three minute. We had um, this crab pattern complete in here in the automated completion zone. The resulting long trade was pretty good. Then at the same time, we formed a bat pattern for a short, which completed in the automated completion zone. The resulting short trade was a monster, okay? Uh, and that's what happens. You've got to be in it to win it. OK, you don't know which one's going to be the runner or not. So you've just got to manage them sensibly uh, and, and get in, get out. OK, so this back pattern here did not complete in the automated completion zone. It completed, but it's a low probability harmonic pattern. And as you can see, it just meandered on up there a little bit. OK, so let's just, fact, let's just use that same thing here. That's pulling down quite severely. So we'll just go up a time frame. I want to see if one's again. Let's just go 12. I want to see, I want to try and find one that's forming. So one crab pattern completed in that automation completion zone. Again, when you're looking for entry strategies for this, you don't necessarily have to buy the expert algo and use the expert algo signals to go short here. You could use the EMA cloud. So this crab pattern on the one minute for scalping, completing the automated completion zone, it did not break the EMA cloud until this point here. So your entry for this was just breaking below or even the close below here on the EMA cloud. OK. Just there, that close just below or this one. And then it runs and then it comes to test the cloud and goes and you're still short Euro GBP on the one minute. OK, uh, so it's those. And again, what you can do is if you're only trading two or three currencies or one or two uh, futures contracts, set the alerts up. On here for the harmonic patterns. OK. So when the. Um, the bull zone max is crossed or blah 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 oh you know once once per close uh notify or shop it on the uh, put it on the app on the pop-up that sort of thing and create it so you can go on different um instruments on different time frames and set up all of these no you've got multiple monitors uh now with this bob with the um desktop app uh, the desktop app works on mac and uh pc and you can use it on multiple monitors now which is really really cool so it's the desktop app for trading view is you want to be looking at there which is pretty pretty cool OK, so that's British pound uh, euro GBP, and that was a fantastic trade. It's not rocket science. OK, you get the pattern complete. You need an entry strategy. For me, it's always the EMA cloud. It's a nonlinear support and resistance. So, uh, you know, and I'm looking for an entry to break down below that crowd, uh, cloud. I know that we 
result in trade should be short. It's completed in the automated completion zone. Uh, but I need an entry strategy. This is quite whippy on the one minute if I was trading Euro GBP. So I want to make sure I get a close below the cloud and then we get the parabolic move. Fantastic. Really, really simple. Yeah. Um, let's go um, up time frames to an hour, for example. Uh, nothing there falling at the moment. Let's go to four hour. Again, I can't stress enough. Look at this back pattern complete. Boom, gone. Uh, so we just need a different so forex pair. I want to do lots of different examples. I want to find one that's actually forming right now. Um, Euro US dollar. Let's start at one minute and move up. Right, let's go down to 30 seconds a minute. And this is one of those, uh, you know, it forms in the background. It literally, it's just on your chart. And when you get the harmonic pattern forming that to completion zone, again, you can set your alerts with this indicator suite. That's the sweet spot where you should be looking for. This is a bit of a V shape. There's going to be no uh, harmonic pattern here on Euro US dollar right now. If we go to 12 minutes, no, because we've got this double bottom forming. We need a different pair. We need US dollar CAD maybe. Uh, or Japanese yen. Let's have a look at that. So chart background color settings. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is gradient. So the gradient here is uh, sort of light gray. I can take that a bit darker and I can take that to black. So it's gradient background. And then the vertical grid lines are all at zero at opacity. Yeah, so it's clear. I don't, I don't like grids on the chart. Okay. This is why I don't trade Fridays because the price action is not normal. <laughs> if there is a normal, let's go to 30 minutes, not tried that. Fifteen. I will find one that's forming, guys. I'm just the thing is I just let them run in the background, okay? Uh, and just wait for them to happen. Um, we had a great one on oil the other day, for example. Let's just put that one on, actually. Um, now, it was on the five minute on oil, and it was. Um, around about the pit open, wasn't it? So uh, I can't go back that far because it doesn't draw. Again, there's, there's restrictions with trading viewers. You can't look back that far. Uh, because you're only allowed 50 drawings per indicator. Um, but, you know, one of those things that we have to put up with because we're, we're actually looking for trades in advance. So um, it's just one of those things that it's, it's, it's annoying. Um, but the main thing is we, we are looking forward. So, you know, we're, we're looking for those uh, harmonic patterns to form. And, you know, we're, in, we're on a Friday, we're, we're on our last legs before, and we're just trying to find a pattern uh, that's forming right now. And it's just not going to play with me, I don't think. But we'll, we'll keep having a, a quick look. Um, anybody want me to look at a specific ticker or a Forex pair on a specific time frame or even a stock uh, to see how it performs? Let's, let's see what you want me to look at. Um, because I know, for example, the bonds ZB on the four hour is really a good indication when one of those forms, the resulting trades on smaller time frames are really high probability. Uh, so ZB on the four hour is massive for me. I like oil on the five minutes as well, around about the oil pit open half an hour before the US market uh, opens. Oh, there we go. It's coming back on the on the one second now. OK. So this just formed here. It just formed the Gartley. OK, uh, we were just too late. I was just because I was talking to you guys. I missed it. So this is the one that we'll have running on the side here. 
uh, for the Gartley, uh, the, you know, for any, it's just literally printed that um, five or six seconds ago, but on the one second, I don't know how it's going to form. I just wanted to show you uh, live them for me, but one second's too, too quick for me. <laughs> you got to be quick. Let's pull that off to the side again. I think one second's a little bit too quick. So come on, guys. Give me a ticker. Stock ticket. Give me a Forex pair. Give me Litecoin. Okay, let's have a look at Litecoin um, on a slightly bigger time frame because it's crypto. Um Anybody crypto traders here? Oh, look at that butterfly patting the So when they hit and they complete in the automated completion zone, this is Litecoin. I know nothing about Litecoin, but look at that complete and look at the resulting trade there. This is the hourly on Litecoin. You know, we don't get involved in the ones that don't complete because it just goes sideways. OK, we were only after the high probability moves that complete in the automated completion zone and then we are really good to go so 12 minutes on crypto apparently is pretty good um, uh, again we had a back pattern complete on the 12 minute here complete in the automated completion zone and the resulting trade was pretty cool uh, this one completed this one's completed in the zone on Litecoin on the 12 minute here. This crab pattern's completed in the automated completion zone. Uh, again, we're a Friday. You know, entry should be probably down below there, 167.09. Um, but it's below the EMA cloud, so we could, in theory, go. If we get a close below the EMA cloud, we could just go short Litecoin there. Um, really, really simple. Uh, an effective way of using the CMA cloud there. Um, let's look at a stock, shall we? Let's, um, let's look at where. How square performing today? I mean, yeah, like even 12 minute on a stock. Completes in the automated completion zone. A little bit of a short there. Um, probably five minutes better on a stock. But we don't get to. Uh, I'm in square right now, which is uh, it's it's holding up pretty well today. Let's go big. Let's go daily. I only trade off the daily or the hourly really for stocks. The square move for me has been on the roller, uh, the um, expert algo. I mean, that works spectacularly on uh, on stocks. I don't really use harmonics on stocks because it's not a 24 hour contract. 24 hour contracts really, really hold their own nifty. Um, I don't know anybody trades nifty uh, on the daily crab pattern complete long. Let's go short because it'll be only um, Again, it's not something I trade. Come on, guys, put something in the chat. What do you want me to look at? Forex pair, um, crypto, what do we want you to look at? Crypto chemistry, good afternoon. What do you want me to look at as far as harmonics are concerned on there? ETH, okay. Crypto, ETH. Does it matter which one? OK. So let's go uh, 24 minutes uh, on crypto. But to be honest, on crypto, you should be hour or four hourly because you're looking for the longer term moves, really. Ethereum has been a beast just recently, really has been a beast.
That Gartley pattern was shy. That was already a parabolic move. I tell you something, low on Ethereum. When you get these harmonic patterns finish complete in the automated completion zone, the resulting trades do either go sideways or down. So if you're long Ethereum and you get one of these harmonic patterns complete uh, for the short, again, it's coloured in red because the resulting trade short. Yes, that went down a bit, went sideways. This one went down quite a bit. So if you're uh, you know, hourly and four hourly for crypto. If you're trading that and you're long right now and you get uh, a pattern complete, be aware that's a good time to get out. OK, so harmonic patterns are all to do with fib levels and this is automatic. So uh, if we go to the other one, which is link USD uh, or we go down to this one, we look at the 15 minute. Uh, what happens is with a harmonic pattern a lot of things have got to happen to form the which whether it's a gartley or a bat the thing to do is not to think you could read a book and a few articles on there but it gets over complicated so what we did was devise uh, a piece of software that automatically identifies it but the most important thing is it identifies the completion zone for the resulting trade going to be a high probability now I am not a crypto trader. I don't know the best time frame for trading crypto. OK, I really don't. Um, again, here, Ethereum on the 30 minute. This BAT pattern completed the automated completion zone. It did pull down a little bit there as well. Did I miss another one? I did. Um, four hour, four hour. OK, so four hour on crypto. On Ethereum again when we went back to the, with four hour we had this one complete here uh, and you know it might have been time to get out there and look for another re-entry there I know uh, for example on Bitcoin um, and Litecoin some of the four hour moves were pretty astonishing so we've got a Bitcoin for example Printing too many now. So just before this big move on the four hourly, we get this crab pattern A, B, C, D form right on the top of the uh, auto completion zone. The resulting trade was massive because the entry would have been through this EMA cloud at 18 and a half thousand. And now you can see it's never closed below the EMA cloud right now. OK, and it's at 40,875. <laughs> um, so it's, you know, when you get them complete, they are pre. You get some great moves. So whether that's crypto or, or whatever, um, Forex futures, it doesn't really matter. It is huge. Um, you know, the EMA cloud um, is again on the website. So for trading view on the website, this EMA cloud I use a lot. You can see it here, it's 69 bucks for life. Um, you'll see auto harmonics and everything else on there. But the EMA cloud I use for entries, I use for trading stops, and it's adjustable. Right now, it's set to 21 EMA. OK, you can make it more conservative at 34 EMA, for example. And it takes the highs and lows of the EMAs and forms a cloud. And this is fantastic for managing trades. Um, so here, four hour Bitcoin, OK, probably more conservative entry here. We complete the crab pattern long 18,634 it's not closed below the 34 EMA all the way up to 40,850 so you would still be in this Bitcoin trade um, really really 
Okay, the reason I, I use Heiken Ashi fuel it purely for the X-Brad Algo. It doesn't matter with harmonics because the pivots are the same. It's just the candles are, 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 are what we call uh, averaging candles. So they, I'm talking to the chat, but you're over there on the uh, thing. Um, they're averaging candles. So the bodies are going to be slightly different to normal candles, but it gives you a good idea of bullish and bearish momentum, if you like. Uh, and we use them for our x -Brad Algo. Again, the x -Brad Algo got you in early on this Bitcoin move at 18,107, whereas the Harmonic got you in about five or $600 later. Uh, so I use, on a 24-hour product like crypto, Forex, futures, I use high Ashi because they're an averaging candle, okay? Now, uh, let me just look at that link um, one because I've not seen, heard that one before. Is that a cheap link? Is it even on here? USD. Let me just type it in. Oh, there we go. Kraken. Well, this is quite cheap. One of the things you see straight away, oh, Lord, when they do. Right. So this is a prime example. This bat pattern completed and they complete live. You'll see it live and you can set up alerts on your trading view. It completed here. OK, on link USD. The entry was at 1269215 and the resulting long trade from that. Again, it's colored in green. It's completed in the, the um, pattern completion zone. Again, the, the software automatically does that. The resulting long trade was a great trade. Then it pulled down, okay? Again, it's in this long trade. As soon as it breaks through this EMA cloud, get out. This, this bat pattern did not complete. You see the D-Wave did not complete in this completion zone. It continued to come down, yeah? This butterfly pattern for the short did not complete in the automated completion zone. It continued to go higher. So it's almost like a go, no go gauge as well. Um, hi from Italy. Uh, what you're looking for is um, you are really looking for the completions. Now, you just let them run in the background on these charts. And when they complete, you've got to be looking for trades, OK? And that's the thing. Again, I don't know how to make money on crypto. I'm just, you know, we've got some crypto traders in here, and I'm just trying to show you uh, how, how effective the harmonic pattern is, uh, even on cryptocurrency. So, uh, you know, you just got to buy a lot, I suppose. It's all about volume. So at 12.69 uh, to 15.4, you're talking two and a half bucks. But if you bought 10,000 of those coins at two and a half thousand bucks, you, 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 it's, a, it's a decent profit. It's, it's all about scale, as I, I presume, with, with crypto. For You know, I trade futures and I swing trade stocks a lot. OK, um, so I'm not a crypto, but... With the guys coming here for for crypto i just wanted to to show you that it is uh pretty good for crypto uh, any forex traders in here somebody trade something really weird uh on forex <laughs> anybody Um, let's look for some really spurious forex um, pairs. If we've got any, a ruble. Mm. MES futures. Okay. That's my, more Michael Petit. Okay. How's it been performing today? Probably Friday's the wrong day. I don't trade Fridays, by the way, guys. Okay. 
um, really don't trade Fridays. Or MNQ. The reason why I don't trade Fridays as well, the volume can be quite low, so the volatility became pretty, pretty horrible, really. Um, I just want to probably go back on a larger time frame so we can look back in the past on that, on MES and things like that, uh, just to see larger time frames to see what happens there. Let's go to four hours. Now, obviously, these are longer term views when you when these complete. So, you know, MES uh, is not been a great. You know, blimey, I'm, I'm I am going back to last summer, but this was the time when things really. This is the last time a harmonic pattern completed on the four hour and on, on MES. Now, on this sort of time frame, I'm probably going to go 89. Okay. I didn't tell you this, but 89 EMA cloud is very, very good for longer time frames. Okay, so if you a longer term play on an MES, for example, this completed right on the top of that zone again. We look for an entry going through the EMA cloud. When did it break below? Just here, 3441. The entry was at 3087. Okay, longer term. Now you only need one or two of those a year to really, really, uh, and that's longer term. Let's have a look on the daily. It's probably, um, you know, but again, with micros, you can trade off the daily time frame. Uh, it's not looking that far back for some reason. Uh, maybe the contracts. Um, there's nothing on the, con you know, there's nothing on the daily. Let's look at MNQ. That's more volatile, I'll tell you now. Go down to the one minute. Let's have a bit of fun. I never, I never suggest trading off the one minute. <laughs> we need to trade, change this uh, EMA cloud now to thirteen. Let's go back up. Okay, so let's just look back in time here. Again, these print live. I'm just trying to find one to print live is pretty difficult. But again, we got this bat pattern complete in the automated completion zone. The resulting trade short was fantastic. Okay, uh, we had then a crab pattern complete right at the bottom of this zone this time. Again, using the EMA cloud to to come out or the expert algo long trade, fantastic. Again, you're only scalping on this uh, bat pattern completed here on the one minute on MNQ today. Uh, we just pushed out there. The would have already been taken out of the stop. Small loss there. Uh, let's go up a few time frames and see what's happening here. This is why I hate Fridays. Look at the price action, guys. We've come up, double top, come down, double bottom. No direction whatsoever. So again, this is a strategy where you have to be patient. You have to be patient and wait and look for those uh, harmonic patterns to form in the completion zones to get those trades. It's not trying to force anything. So if you're trading MNQ, MES, uh, you're going to set up alerts on your trade station. You're going to go in. You're going to add a new alert. You're going to look for the harmonics pattern. Uh, you're on this five minute time frame now. You want uh, you want to set up an alert for bull uh, for the bull uh, completion zones, the max and minimum. So it's that zone there. When it goes through, it just alert. You heard that noise there? That's an alert for something else. Uh, and then the bear PRZ zones as well. You set all these and create all these alerts. So it actually just tells you when something's happening. Um, you know, let's have a look on the 15 minute. Because they don't form all the time. It's just part of your toolbox, if you like, uh, for when, the, you know, when they form, there's some pretty cool uh, trades going on. The good thing about micros is you can uh, trade off higher time frames. 
example, okay, uh, this week, back pattern completed on the 30 minute in the automated completion zone, resulting trade, short trade was pretty good. That was a lot of ticks. That's a lot of ticks, okay? Yeah. Um, so, you know, with, with any of these harmonic trades, um, so for example, this was on the 6th of, um, of September, uh, December when it completed. Okay. Uh, you don't know what time it's going to complete, just completes. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's different ways of trading this. The stop's always going to be above the D, for a short, above the D pivot for a long, below the D pivot. That's where it is. Yeah. Then uh, this other indicator, which I'm using, which is not part of the auto harmonics, it's, it's just a separate indicator. It's the EMA cloud. It's 69 bucks. It's on the website, globaltradingsoftware.com. Use this for entry and use it for trailing stops. And that's what I do. So I'm on the 30 minute. 13 EMA is probably about right. Or you can go 21 if you really want. Um, let's just go 21 a second. Um, okay. So 21 EMA. Got the completion in the completion zone for MNQ. It closes just here, just below the MA cloud. So our entry is at uh, 127, 29.25. We go short, you see how it comes to test the cloud, comes back up again, I get a six star sell on MNQ, comes back down again, and then we come up, test, finally break through the MA cloud, and that would be our trailing stop. We could be more aggressive with that. So we could have two EMA clouds on here. We could have one for entry, with which we could change to green, for example. Um, so let's do that now. Uh, sorry. So we'll change that to green for go for trade. Yeah. Cloud cover green. So that's my go EMA cloud. I want to add another one now for my trading stop. OK. And I want to make that really aggressive. OK, so I'm going to make that a 10 EMA. Yeah. Or even a five. OK, even a five, maybe. You can see here we go long on the green and we take the stop out when it closes above the five here on the red. OK, so more you're more conservative on the entry just to make sure that once your harmonic pattern is completed, uh, we know the resulting trade is red because everything's colored in red. OK, um, and then. I'm using two EMA clouds now, uh, and I'm using the green one, which is the 21 for my entry, so just here. And then I'm using uh, another one, which is five, which is more aggressive. If it closes outside of this five EMA, just here, that is my stop. I take it out. Okay. Very, very simple. Again, on, uh, on the TradingView platform, I'll put it in the chat now. Um, the EMA clouds on there, okay. Control V, isn't it? So is the um, so this first is the where all of these indicators are the harmonic patterns. Now, I am going to put another link in there because you've attended today. We're actually giving 21% for 2021 off the harmonic pattern for trading view. It's brand new, nobody else does it. This is a cool tool. This really gets you in uh, and understands on large time frames where uh, that resulting trade is gonna be. You might go down from that 30 minute to a five minute to trade that or whatever. So right now, if you fill your details in on this page, you will be emailed a discount code for 21% off the the um, the auto harmonic pattern software for trading view okay and it is pretty cool um, let's go back to <laughs> I'm just trying to see if anybody's put any other tickers in there STM is that, is that a stock? Uh, 
we don't want to be on the 30 minute really we don't we don't want to be trade day trading that we'll probably go to the daily and have a look and the really cool thing about uh, trading view is that um we can hide so if i want to hide these ema clouds right now i can just press the i button there and hide them away okay really really cool i love that it's so simple to use Okay, so for this STM stock, there has been some instances where uh, just recently, we'll go back just this year, um, we have the back pattern here didn't complete in the automated completion zone. It did then go on to go into there, but started forming the back pattern for the long, which did complete in the automated uh, completion zone and then moved higher. Okay. The crab pattern completed outside of the completion zone for the short. You see how the resulting short trade ran out of juice and went sideways because it did not complete in that automated completion zone. Really, really critical here. Okay. Uh, we, six star buy. This is the expert algo. It's on that uh, um, on the website as well. This was the trade. So again, <clears throat> you can't rely on one tool in a toolbox. So uh, a joiner, a, a carpenter, doesn't rely on just one chisel. He has a, he's had a couple of mallets. He has some more chisels. So when you're trading, you've got to think, if I'm going to have this as a business, um, you've got to be really, really, you've got to have a, a good toolbox for different market conditions. So this is why I've developed specific indicators. So the harmonic pattern indicator and the expert algo together just gives you so many more trading opportunities. Never mind the Elliott Wave, we won't even get into that today. Let me just click on that link, uh, Gillinghammer, and then I'll check it out later, okay? No, it's not. They are for sale on the website. Okay. On globaltradingsoftware.com, TradingView, all of these here, the Auto Harmonics is here, the EMA Cloud is here as well. There's lots of others on there. I will put that in the link again. They're not on the library. These are invite only scripts. Okay. Because when you're building a toolbox, the free tools out there are too complicated. Uh, I just want to show you something else we're working on right now. It's nothing to do with harmonics, but this is the X Brad Algo on the um, on the one minute time frame for ES for the last year. Net profit seventeen thousand nine hundred thirty seven dollars. You don't trade it on a Wednesday. Look at that. <laughs> you trade it Monday. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. You don't trade the expert on ES on the one minute on a Wednesday. We, we're going to roll this out in a, in a couple of quarters. Uh, when you look at the hourly, the best times to trade the expert algo is uh, 9 to 12 a.m. EST. Okay. Uh, and it's just really, really freaky stuff. We've got profit factors of, um, you know, 2.52 and everything like that. But these are, the, these are, this is what I use as a tool to try and find those, um, you know, to, you know, to actually get those uh, good indicators working properly. Again, the second link in there um, were webinar attendee discount code. Please click, click on that fill in. You'll get 21% off the harmonic pattern indicator. Uh, somebody asked for XRP USD. So let's go to there. Okay. This is quite a cheapy, isn't it? 
So XRP USD, what uh, what time frame is is uh, you do trade on that? Is it still four hour, one hour? even 24 minutes. Uh, so is cryptochemistry still there? Um, I, I, again, I don't know cryptocurrency, so I don't know the time frames. XLM. XLM, what is XLM? Is it a stock or? Oh, London Stock Exchange, okay. I'll go, I'll go back to it in a second. XLM, is this the FTSE stock that we're talking about or not? Oh, XLM USD, sorry. Again, I'm not a crypto trader, so I don't know what it is. Uh, I wish. XLM USD. It's a real cheap one as well. It is, isn't it? Oh, look at that it's on the 12 minute. Can you short it? Oh, I see. Okay. If that's the case, oh, we need to probably go to four hour then. Because we go back to November to the biggies. Because all of them pretty much, yeah, completed and then went massive. Oh, I tell you what works very well on here is the X Brad Elgo. I know this live stream is about the harmonic pattern, guys, but the X Brad Elgo is pretty hot on this on this particular crypto XLM USD. I'll I'll put that. Um, oh shoot. See these five and six star buys. Six star buy is the highest probability move up. Uh, again, I haven't got my support and resistance zones in there, uh, but this this pattern failed. It didn't complete the completion zone. You got five and six star buys there on uh, the X Brad Elgo. Six star buy worked there as well a little bit. It's only just come into play. It's only just got some real big move. you now for crypto i am really liking the way that my expert algo works here because this is phenomenal okay this year okay that is just one huge move excellent btc let's have a look at that one you got me really really interested now i am gonna have to go soon guys because it's uh, gone past dinner time um right okay four hour i think i'm going with you guys here and four hour I can just say on XLM BTC on the four hour, my X Brad Algo, six star sell, boom, six star buy, boom, six star buy, okay, six star sell, boom, six star buy, go. So, four, um, on the four hour, since November last year, we've had one, in fact, we go back. We've had one big trade, two big trades, one little, 
three, four big trades. Okay, the X Brad Algo works extremely well on crypto by the looks of it. Uh, the I, I would say the harmonic does work, but they don't appear as often. So we go back here, look for example. We get this bat pattern, uh, crab pattern form here in the automated completion zone. You're looking for longs. It does go sideways. We get another bat pattern form in the completion zone, and we do get a long. So it does work as well. But you're getting more trading opportunities on crypto, uh, I would say, on the expert algo. Absolutely, 100%. I'm telling you now, we are actually, there's a, there's a website called CryptoHopper.com. Uh, we're developing the Expra Algo as an automated trading bot for that website, okay? Because this is awesome, yeah? Three stories low probability, wouldn't have taken it there. Uh, but the, the Expra Algo for crypto is just phenomenal. I don't trade crypto and I don't know physically how to do it. If I did, it would be brilliant. Uh, so the expert algo is available and it looks like it's brilliant for, uh, for, so let's go back. Just want to just finish off. I want to go back to, you know, where we are, what we're doing with, with this harmonic patterns and really for futures and Forex, it is hot snot. Okay. You get some really great looking, um, patterns complete and you are looking for those resulting trades. Okay. You're looking for a 24 hour product with quite a lot of volatility uh, and the move to to work um you know when we when we're using this so so again when you look at um gbp us dollar on the hourly this is the first one we looked at so you have this running in the background on your chart it doesn't take a lot of memory but then you get a butterfly pattern complete automatically. You can set your alerts. The resulting long trade is phenomenal. Then you get a bat com complete in the automated target zone. The resulting yeah. trade is phenomenal. So this is the automatic um, harmonic pattern, um, SPHX. So this looks for harmonic patterns automatically, whether it's a bat, this was a butterfly, uh, it's colored in green, for the resulting bullish trade, it's got to complete in the automated completion zone for it to be a high probability move up. And then you've got the bat pattern complete. It's colored in red because guess what? The resulting trade is short. Are you all welcome, Crypto Chemistry? You want to get in touch, just... Uh, Send me a PM and we'll 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 talk more. Uh, but yeah, look, resulting trade harmonic all the way down here. Really, really cool. Uh, so this is the auto harmonics. Really good, even short term uh, on uh, forex, uh, on crypto, on on futures, uh, stocks. You name it. It's all uh, it all works very very well. Uh, hopefully. Uh, you understand a little bit more about this. Now, uh, there's no way I'm going to teach anybody how to draw all these manually because it's lots of fib levels, lots of messing around. And by the time they've done it, you've lost the trade. What this does is allows traders uh, to automatically see what's going on. When the harmonic, harmonic pattern completes, when it completes in the automated completion zone, there is a high probability the resulting trade is going to happen. OK, uh, very, very simple for for those, um, uh, you know, traders. Uh, and this works very, very well. And, the, you know, nobody else does this for trading view. It's taken a lot of time and money to develop this. This is really good. And I'm going to give you the link one more time before I go for the discount. Twenty one percent discount. If you fill in here, you will get sent uh, a coupon code to get 21% off auto harmonic pattern trading software. Okay. Well, I can't post the same message again. That's uh, so let's put coupon code in front of it. Uh, it won't let me post it again. Um, you need to go up to the chat and let me um, 
basically it says in the link this is annoying globaltrainingsoftware.com forward slash webinar attendee discount code it's up there in the chat okay fill that in you will get sent a coupon code and you'll get 21 percent at checkout off the autom uh, automated uh, harmonic pattern software i've waffled on too long it's been an hour and a half now i'm going to have my dinner because it's nearly 8 p.m here in europe so everybody enjoy your weekend and uh, hopefully i'll speak to you all soon on another live streaming